Copenhagen meeting was a colossal failure. The disconnect between science and policy there is so profound because we know if every country met those targets that they voluntarily submitted, we'd uh, guarantee to break two degrees. Since 2009, we've had another meeting in 2010, we've had another meeting in 2011, and we've had another meeting in 2012, and they've gone from bad to worse. And right now, we are hurtling towards the edge of a cliff. How do you turn the Titanic in this short amount of time that you have left before hitting the iceberg? And it's, it's looking very difficult. What we need is people to get elected who aren't afraid to raise this issue and discuss this issue. environmental connections of most people are, are bigger than in any other capital uh, in the country and, and maybe in the world. The chances are difficult for a candidate whose party polls so low in previous polls. She's been a minister in my government for the last two years since I became Premier. You will not find any MLA that works harder than Ida Chong. So as a climate-oriented voter, I would be a strategic voter and try to get the NDP elected. The riding where Andrew Weaver is running, I'm recommending that people in that riding, even if they're NDPers, vote Green. Most major players in both major parties expected it was going to be a change of government. And it didn't happen. The way we are extracting bitumen from the tar sands is as if we've been given a great big inheritance and we've decided to spend it to throw us a big party now and we'll wake up tomorrow with a wicked hangover and say, now what? If a premier has the vision, in this province, they can sort of move heaven and earth, and sometimes do. We want to bring home the economic growth that's going to come from selling our surplus supply of natural gas at five times the price we do here in North America and selling it over in Asia. There is simply no way you can meet our targets with the proposed expansion of LNG. There's just no way. Well, if we miss the target, it's better than having never had a target. You at least have to try and strive for something. If you get halfway there, that is better than never having had a target and not get anywhere. I know you're going to win. I know you're going to win. We're complaining about China's emissions growth, that yet we're feeding the beast. Yes. One for Weaver on private land. Green, green, green. 1545. 1645. Weaver's campaign office optimism reigns. Of course I'm optimistic. I'm a climate scientist, and I haven't slashed my wrist yet. That's... If the Northern Gateway pipeline were approved and construction were to begin, I definitely would be traveling north to join with First Nations, concerned citizens, environmentalists, others, to try to block construction, and I would engage in civil disobedience in doing that. It's been a very remarkable thing to see the scientific community in the climatology area be so outspoken in terms of their calls for urgent action, in terms of warning us of what the consequences of climate change will be. And I think that's a measure of how desperate they are. Go! <laughs>